Hello, my name is Teresa Rivera. I'm so excited to be applying to be a Google certified trainer. I'm an elementary school teacher, currently enrolled in grad school, and I work at a local nonprofit in my free time. And every day in one of these locations, I always use a Google tool. Recently, my school district has transitioned to Google for Education, and the benefits have been absolutely wonderful. I use Google Drive to organize my life, sheets to track and analyze data, forms for formative and summative assessments and to collect feedback, and additionally, Google Classroom multiple times a week to make text accessible and bring me one step closer to my paperless classroom. But these are the benefits for me. For my students, I'm able to transform their learning and make it more enjoyable and hands-on. Beyond just welcoming the world of digital text and typing as a means of communication, my projects are also transitioning. In previous years, students have completed a research project on an explorer that included facts about them and a map of exploration. And this year, my students did the same using what I found to be a hidden gem, Google My Maps. So prior to this brief tutorial, I've already gone to google.com slash my maps. I've clicked create a new map and I've already named this map and I've started working with some layers here. So to add a layer, you just click add layer and you get to name it. Um, and here you can see I've got different layers going. For a student or during any presentation, this is very helpful. It can take the biggest portions of a person's life and they can track the biggest locations within it all just within one layer. And while they do this, what's really great is they're able to embed either a video, as you can see here, which is coming directly from YouTube, or they can also select an image right here, which we just did with a basic Google image search. And I'll show you how to do those now. So we've got our final expedition here for our Explorer, and we're going to say that this Explorer ended up their last expedition, they went to Florida. So I'll select Florida here, and what it will do is it'll bring us to that location on the map. We want to add this to our map here by clicking Add to Map. And now what we can do is the fun part with adding that video or that picture to make our presentation that much more exciting and fun. So we'll click the camera, and when you're here, you can upload um, from your Google Drive. Uh, you can do the image URL um, or from your photos. And what you can also do if you click More, here you can see you can do an image search or you can also do a YouTube search. For us, we're going to do an image search, and I happen to know that Florida has beautiful palm trees. So I'm going to type in palm tree, and when it does that, we've got images that will come up, and we're going to select this one here, which would be great for our presentation. We'll select it and put it in, and we can, with a little description, which will act as a little note when we're doing our presentation when we click on this. And just like that, we can add that. There we go. And we are all set. And that is how you add to your Google My Map.